Uh, welcome back guys it's your boy deco graphics uh, today i want to show us how we can come up with uh, 3d text effects on our canva and as you can see uh, this is my canva interface so right now uh, we'll come to uh, without wasting much of our time let's just do it quick quick so that we'll get into what we wanted to achieve so click on create a three a design here then you'll come to customize where you put the figure, the size you want. So I want to create one two zero by one two zero. You can make any size depend on what what you actually want. So after making it that way, then the next thing we're going to do is to wait a little bit so that everything will load. So the first thing you are going to do is to tap on the element. So clicking on the element, the next thing to do is to search blue background. So after searching for blue background, you see variety of the results which you are going to get. Then you look for the one you actually wanted. So you can pick any one you wanted, depend on your choice. So I want to look for one that we, uh, the uh, middle we uh, have is kind of a something like this. The edge will be deeper, while the middle will be something lighter. So you have to scale it in to make sure that... Uh, everything it's really work well so after that we can reposition to the center just as this reduce the size a little bit so resize okay cool so after that the next thing we are going to do i'm coming i want to check whether i can see better one but i think that is okay i go for this and i guess this is just uh okay the one i use is already okay so the next thing to do is to go to the text area and uh, you choose add the subheading. So when you click on subheading, then you type whatever the text that comes to your mind. So for instance, I want to type Canva. Canva, as you can see, then you can increase the size to your own desired text. So after that, position it to the center or increase it a bit again, position it to the center. Okay perfect then you go to the font and choose a font called nexa nexa uh, for you to be able to get this font you need to have a canva pro so if you don't have a canva pro it's possible because you can see something like run here so which means look at it as a canva pro user you can use this font so if you are not you won't be able to so the next thing to do is to go to the effort then you click on shadow so when you click on shadow, you see an option. If you are using a smartphone, you need to long press on it. The option that just display will be will be on top of this uh, AG. Then you need to long press, then you see it to display. The offset, let it be 100. Then direction, let it be minus 45. Then the blur, let it be 83. I think 83 should be okay. Okay, 83. Perfect. Then you click on the color, change the color of the shadow to black. So we're good to go. So now what we're going to do next is to increase a bit, reposition to the center. Then we're going to copy. So after copy, you go to the color. Then uh, on reaching the color, go here and select the deep color. So we're going to move it up a little bit as it is. So which you can see, we're going to... So let's move this up. We want to let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, perfect. So after that, what we're going to do is to go to the position. Get into the position, you send it backward. Send it backward, then we check whether I go to the back. If it doesn't go, you go there. Go to the position and send it to the middle and let's see where how it is now okay perfect so what we're going to do next we're going to just shift a little bit let's just shift it a little bit okay and we can move it towards okay perfect this is okay anyway then uh, we can we can recopy after copy go to the 
color then you change the color to light yellow then on changing it to light yellow we close this area then uh, this can be closed as well so we can drag this so let that give a bit so we have to drag this a bit okay then you move it a bit so after that the next thing we are going to do is to send it to the back so go to the position and you send it backward and uh, we can move it after sending it backward for us to see so everything should be able to be plumb like this and as you can see so let uh, tamper with this a little bit okay tamper with it a bit okay so let's just uh, move it a little bit and i guess it's okay like this the white at the top the white at the top should be moving a little bit okay so now we can look at it uh, that we're able to form what this is the canva 3d uh, effort very very cool and very simple to achieve so just apply and double uh, uh, you make it in duplicate it and uh, you achieve what you want to achieve and this is a uh, cool this is cool so that is that i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you so what we need to do is to just uh, have our work being safe so download it so when you download you 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 download directly save the settings for the next uh, work then after downloading we can view it and see how uh, uh the result will be so let's just save it to where so let's save it to the desktop again um canva so you can save your work save it to anywhere and if it is phone automatically to download to so let's go and view it on our desktop so as you can see so look at it so we're able to make it the way we actually wanted so we can see right so look at it so very cool so thanks for watching i believe one we'll learned something from here god bless